If you're a man, you don't cry about it. You take life, the ups and downs. If you're a real man, you never go down, you just stay up. That's why this sport coat costs $800 and that costs $200. And I don't know what that costs, I'd be ashamed to wear it. That's why I'm wearing lizard shoes and a Rolex watch. Important it, snorting it, any competition extorting it. Anything I want, affording it. Got enough crack to get four to hit. Turn a saint to a sinner, lose to a winner. Whether old school or a beginner, my shit's the best. Rick's the best. Have your heart beating right out your chest. That Rick Flair like. Woo! That Rick Flair like. Woo! This is all I do. I got that Rick Flair like. Woo! Woo! Styling, profiling. That Ricky Mickey girl go. Woo! Big cause. I think it's cute that Baxter decided to go change somewhere else. Oh, dude, I gave uh, one of the shirts to Prescott. Mm -hmm. It was his birthday. Yeah. And I was handing it to him, and he goes, um, like, oh, no, it's okay, man. I'll, uh, like, I'll, I want to pay for it. And I'm like, no, dude, it's your birthday. And you're like, you, you always come and watch the shows. And when I handed him and he took it, he had this expression on his face that can only be described like a little kid. <laughs> like, he did the thing, like, oh. <laughs> Man, don't be the house though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's free now. Yeah. <laughs> nice. He turns into a butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> he fucks off. <laughs> I wow, got this whole time. I just thought he was a wow, guy. But actually, this whole time. He's a butterfly. <laughs> nice. You're looking ripped in that, Baxter. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> looking ripped? Yeah, you're looking ripped in that. There's no looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, uh, I did get feedback about the shirt. I'm just going to leave some of that in anyway. Um, I, I did get feedback about the shirts already. Yeah. Um, somebody saw the post online uh, and said, hey, uh, it's great. You guys have shirts. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's great. He goes, all right, well, just let me know if you ever want me to design a better one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, man. That's the Ban him from owning a shirt. Whoever what he or she is, is. like Comic Sans or don't. don't know. Lee like has no idea. He typewriter <laughs> font. What do you call that? The typewriter. You know one? exactly which one it was because I, I recreated it in like two seconds. Because we're looking at um, Alibaba, like Chinese-made stuff. We, yeah. had, we had so many like ideas for like different sorts of um, merch. The do rag is going to be the next one. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense, right? T-shirt do rag. And then Uggs. Uggs, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then like fifth down the list, beanie. Beanie. Uh, it's, it's getting a bit chilly. I, I saw this guy in a beanie at work, and I realized he always wears a beanie. And I just... There's Aye. something about it, I guess. It's just... I don't like beanie guys. No, yeah, it's a douche, right? Is that is that why I don't like it? It's like hack to make fun of these guys, but it's very true. The beanies where it's like rolled up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, like it's I don't here. get it. It looks awful. And then it, 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 you know, bunches. Yeah, it's like a condom. Like right before you roll it down, it's all like circular. Not that I know what a condom you know, like, is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like half beanie, half yarn. Well, I have protected sex. <laughs> Shut you up. Know what I have protected <laughs> Lee keeps his oh, coke in con <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in his stomach. <laughs> yeah, he's a smuggler. Yeah, when he's smuggling it over the border. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I work on. <laughs> oh, wait, it's, like a, it's like a condom, but instead of putting up your ass, you uh, put it on your head and it's a hat. <laughs> hey, did you guys hear that Kevin Hart's doing a master class? <laughs> on what? <laughs> <laughs> What's... What's the first lesson? Hope your funny fat friend dies? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be $4,000, please. I, mean, I wasn't ready. You said it to that guy. <laughs> I forgot about it. So what do you say? All right, we'll break the fourth wall. We did a little funny thing before the show. We thought we'd try to recreate it for the listeners. Yeah. Say the other thing, but pretend you didn't say it before the show. Yeah. But which, I was like... Which thing? You know, just ask me the question you asked before the show, but I was like, oh, we should save this for the show. Fuck, what was Because it might be funny. I forget. Uh, it was something about you going on a trip. Okay. Going oh, on a yes. trip. How, oh, how was your trip? Where'd you go recently, Louis? <laughs> 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 what do you fucking care? <laughs> we have to start doing pre-interviews, and I will love this way more, is if we just ask them questions, and then, yeah, you just redo the questions like and act like you didn't ask them that already. <laughs> It's well, so I went funny. to LA. Let's just get out of the way. I went to LA, went to LA and yeah. it was... It's land like of the free. Land of the free. It's like too sunny there, though. I feel like if it's just sunny the whole time, you just don't develop a character. You need to suffer through the winter. 
to be um, a, to be a rounded person because like people just go crazy in the sun. Like I was just crazy the whole time. Like if I lived there, I would just be like manic, manic. Yeah, yeah. I don't think like uh, I think I'd miss the seasons. You would, yeah. The seasons changing year round summer. I think you just get older sunny, at some point. Sunny the whole time, and you have to drive everywhere. So I drank drove for the first time, which was interesting. Um, not like proper drunk. I had like three. His wife's Chinese, so a Chinese girl sober is <laughs> scarier than a drunk British man. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was envisioning. <laughs> I was envisioning getting pulled over by the cops, and he's like, how many did you, uh, did you have? Like, seven? I was like, oh, I had She's nine. She's like, Lewis, you're on the wrong side of the road, you, <laughs> you stupid limey. <laughs> you, you, would you rather she drive? He's like, ah, oh, you got a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go, lad. <laughs> yeah, man, no one, no one talks about how much fun drink driving is. It's a real, it's a real thrill. Yeah, I, I, I drank and drove once, and I was just like... We used to know a guy who loved drive, driving yeah. drunk. Drink, oh, yeah? drink driving, drunk driving. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't die of drink driving. No, it no, should no, be no. It should be mentioned. No, I was like, so, I was so drunk, I was vomiting outside the window while driving. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> running red lights, going like, I need to get pulled over. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm begging, <laughs> I'm begging to get pulled over right now. You're like, no, I made it trouble. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just pull over to puke? I was already on the road, and then I was like, uh oh, and I just lowered the window. <laughs> 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 Had some dark days, boys. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I I know a guy who got uh his he got caught uh drunk driving, mm. and, but the cop didn't give him the ticket or whatever you get uh until he was on his driveway. So he made it all the way home, Isn't and then gave dangerous? him the ticket. <laughs> like what if on the way home that guy like ran into I, the fucking wait? So he stopped him on the driveway. Yeah, like the guy got out of the car. And maybe it's because the cop just sus- maybe he was driving so well the mm. cop suspected it, right. but wasn't sure. But the second he got out and wobbled, he's like, "Oh, I got a ticket <laughs> he here." Face yeah. planted. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> it's double jeopardy. He's already done it, so <laughs> technically he's out of it. I kind of like that as a loophole. <laughs> he assaulted the cop, thinking it was his wife. <laughs> you, you never suck my dick. The Mel Gibson line. <laughs> <laughs> Your smile and blow me dick. after yeah. the jacuzzi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of funny laws that are still like laws, especially in England. Apparently, uh, if a pregnant woman needs to pee, uh-huh. she can ask for a police officer's helmet. Oh yeah, like a oh helmet really? Helmet and like and like that that tall that. one that like yeah yeah, yeah, like, yeah, the, yeah. like the hard round yeah, yeah yeah yeah. He, oh, puts, that's cool. he puts it on to celebrate after he killed a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't. <laughs> the honorary hat. Yes. They don't. I assume they don't do that as much. No, they in do, in but they use, they use they swords guns. instead. No, but it's England. They they kill Indian people. Yeah. Over there, they they don't kill black people. Yeah. Right, right Definitely. Lewis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> most hated in England is Indians, right? Oh most god, most hated, that, most full stop. It's that mostly, protest would be smelly. It's mostly Indians. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it's outside. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, most hated. But okay, I is that all you didn't like about LA though? What did you do in LA? Uh, drove around just for six <laughs> hours a day. You just just told us you got drunk and drove around, driving yeah. around the whole day. Because <laughs> it's like either either I drive drunk or I shout at my wife, and I both are kind of both, fun. Really. Both are kind of fun. I enjoy yeah. doing both, but. Um, yeah, I went to go see uh, some friends over there. Oh, okay. Um, Oi, get your cock at me, mouth. The cops are pulling me over. Who's <laughs> 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 that <laughs> speaking? Is that me? <laughs> yeah, because... Is that me who's sucking my wife's dick? (laughs) (laughs) That's what I was trying to figure out. I was doing the math. Oh, wait, it's Matt. Yeah, yeah. He thinks your wife has a dick. He thinks my girlfriend has a dick. (laughs) He assumed Lee broke up with Becca because she didn't have a dick. (laughs) Oh, your cock is smashing me through it quite well. (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, bollocks. I think I killed a celebrity. (laughs) (laughs) I wish I was better at voices. I was Scottish. It's not bad. (laughs) It's not terrible. It's I like mean, he probably pa- thinks it's, it's terrible. It's passable. <laughs> it's passable to me. Yeah. That's but all you want in impressions. It's just the passable. passable. Yeah. Well, that that's high compliment coming from the great impressionist, Lee Fernandez. Thank you. You're the best I've ever seen in my life Thank for you. the specific ones you do. Not yeah. for breath, but the ones you do are so dead on. I... I I swear if I close my eyes, it's, it's a... Which ones does he do that are dead on? Um, only retards. Yeah. Only <laughs> he's the... 
Yeah, it's only retard. Retard impressionist. Right. Like Chris Clark, Jamie <laughs> Villeneuve. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, well, that's because it's his uh, native tongue. <laughs> <laughs> <The> retard. <laughs> 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 Are you suggesting it's like if we went to Lewis and said do an English accent? <laughs> like it's just he's like I am right now. <laughs> no, another retard one. <laughs> when Lee talks to his mom back home, he sent his retarded accent comes back. What's up, Darren? Hey, hey Darren. Darren, how's it I going? I actually prepped hey. another mic for you in case you want to sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, we'll just make a little space, yeah. I guess, because I don't feel like moving the cameras. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> or oh, yeah, yeah. Lee, do you want to adjust that camera maybe and catch him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, welcome, Darren Burke, back on the podcast again. Oh, he was just... sort of on last week, but uh, not on camera. How's it going? I don't, I don't see you in a while. Oh, you know what? Take Lee's <laughs> black mic. <laughs> An Englishman <laughs> in my house. <laughs> Take Lee's black mic because it's it's a longer cord and Lee can use that blue one. Yeah, yeah. There Perfect. you go. All set. Uh, talking to it just for a second? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Um, yeah, you didn't you didn't check out any comedy in L.A.? No, I was trying to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I do think L.A. comedy is terrible. I, I don't want, you know. I don't know. I went what to, the uh, fuck does that mean, L.A. comedy is terrible? It's mean? most, I, I think they have a higher percentage of the professional comics that are not funny to what me. What about Chris D'Elia? He's hilarious. He has a sex yeah. call. He's awesome. He's all right. Oh, then flick that on. Flick the, it's well, not. Did, you did guys are retarded. Chris the store was unreal. Not when not I, went, not I, not I, I, got <laughs> I like how he treats women. That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think he Mick fails ever. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let it go. I got to a fight before the podcast about Chris Delia. about yeah. how I'm funny he let is. It go. But yeah, he's a, he's a great comedian. He is. Uh, I, he I don't is. hate him. I just think he's okay. I think all LA comics that are professionals, their podcasting is much better it's than. Like, their if he's okay. What are you? I'm okay. I'm all right. <laughs> you and Chris Lee are both okay. Yeah. <laughs> language doesn't make sense anymore. Up is down. The world's a sphere. Whatever. Yeah, you think? The world's flat. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I I just think. Uh, but it's not just him. It's every other LA who comic. Cares? Even the who ones cares? who went to Austin. I, most I think of them are generally speaking, okay. it's hard to be funny when it's just so sunny. That's my main takeaway from that place. Yeah, it's just too so happy. nice all the time. Yeah, so you just you just turn into like a leathery, like insane. Person. I don't think it's just the funniness. You just need it to be like a bad, a bad, like a hard to live. So, because like, yeah. where where are you from, Lee? El Salvador, Guatemala. My mom's from Ecuador. From <laughs> Ecuador, <laughs> like Ecuador probably has a lot of funny people. Yeah, Peruvians are way funnier. Peruvians are, but the it's funniest hot. There. Fuck. It's hot there, but yeah. it just it needs to be. You know, there needs to be a little bit of. It's like boxing. Like mo the best boxers if you, are. If you grew up in LA, like you, you not really white. had, you didn't have real problems. You didn't have any real problems. Yeah, like yeah. You, you, know, you guys are rich, retarded. You, you realize there's like hoods in the LA, right? Yeah, but and they become. You rappers think there's not funny black comedian. guys in Compton? I, I, I agree with you that yeah, LA yeah, is yeah. funny. I agree with you. Oh, that part. Okay, but sorry. that's why there's so many people. They think they should be actors and fucking whatever just because their parents were rich and it's like, I'm supposed to be this, whatever. Then they don't make it in Hollywood. They're like, I'll try comedy. That seems easy. And mm, then because they have point. money backing and they can get all the equipment and all that, they can actually get a following without actually being that yeah, funny. Yeah. But as well, there is unbelievable comedians down in LA. Of course like, there is. Of course there's, 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 there's unbelievable comedians here. There's unbelievable comedians in Boston. Do you know there's I, like I think the best comedians in LA yeah. are from the East Coast and they moved there. Yeah. Like Burr, even Rogan is from the East Coast, and I don't even think about, Rogan uh, as a comic. Is, what he's, about that Fahim good. guy? Fahim, what's his face? Fahim Anwar. Yeah, is where's, he? Where's he from? Uh, is, he, is he an LA native? Because that guy's hilarious. But he's like he's he's from Saudi Arabia. Yeah, so. oh, is he? <laughs> yeah, that goes. But that place point. is really hot. <laughs> 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 Let me tell you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> did he? Did he grow up? Did Delia grow up in LA? <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. Oh, you could yeah. tell. He's, but he's I mean, got they, such an LA douche thing like about him. Do, do you know what, statement, <laughs> the does. statements like like they said that LA is not funny because that, that's like it's a general statement. So there's outliers with everything. But of course, yeah. there yeah. is funny people. Of course, it's funny. But in but general, you need to have a car as well. You need to have a car, and you need to have a job to have a car. And I feel like having a job just makes you the least funny person. Yeah, people with cars aren't funny though. Like, I, I mean, walk. You gotta use public transit to gain a really good. I sense walk of through humor. Skid Row. You can't use public the transit. Guy that was tr the yeah, guy keep telling yourself that, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> the That's why I don't get one. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that was trying to hustle us in Skid Row uh, was very funny. He was really funny. Yeah, I bet. 
Because like, there was three of us first. He came up. He thought he was going to rob us, and then we were like, "Yo, you like hip hop, motherfucker?" He was like, "Take out the, take, you know, take out your phone." I used to be in this band. Like, show. I was like, "Oh, I left my phone. I don't have a phone on me. I had, it. you know, yeah. I wasn't going to take out anything. I, we should have left our stuff. We shouldn't have even went in there. But we just said we wanted to see. Uh, it was wild. Like people were fighting. Like people were like hopping. Someone chairs else already off stole my phone. <laughs> but it was, but it was hilarious. Like they, they, those, those fucking um, homeless people were very funny. Like. Begging for change from LA. Stinking. <laughs> they're hilarious. <laughs> yeah. It was hilarious. No, I mean, their, yeah. their situation Jared's walking was around. hilarious to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is fucking funny. Look at all these smelly cunts. <laughs> they were doing this bit where they were under oh, the no. bridge going like this. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was a good impression. <laughs> that was very good. I'm worried that Darren might be retarded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Anyone he does a good impression of, they must be retarded. That's oh, true. Shit. <laughs> That's one of the best impressions I've gotten uh, off a Canadian. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some people think they can do a great. It's horrific. No, that was good. Okay, no. thank you. I, uh, I feel like we should hear your Irish accent and compare. Oh, to tea, to ta, to tool. That's Ooh. good. That was better. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. What did he say? <laughs> Translate. He goes what? <laughs> <laughs> he was so mad. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, whatever. Your friends back home think you're a pussy Canadian speaker That's now, anyway. Wait, Darren, say something. Let me try. Uh, I'm a horrific drug addict, and I like to bang trans women. <laughs> Oh, you're impressed with me now. That's for you to say in, in an Irish accent. But yeah, say that. Say something you say to yourself every day in an Irish accent. I'm an awful junkie, and I like to fuck trans women. <laughs> I fuck, I, them, I fuck up in their asses. I like that. It's delightful. <laughs> you make it sound so charming and magical. I know. <laughs> was was, was that really trying to do my accent, it. or was it trying to do an Irish accent that was already stored? I more do head? like an abstract uh, interpretation. Yeah, because like Gibbo kind of talks more like that <laughs> accent. That's a really good way to sell bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Jackson Pollock of accents. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, what was I say? Uh, LA, yeah, I just uh, I don't know. Think of name other uh, LA comics that I just think their material, their podcasting is great, but their material is just okay. Like I'm not saying bad. Like I don't think they're bad. I think yeah. English comics are Luck. the worst. I don't but know why I'm sticking up yeah, for LA. Obviously, <laughs> do you agree I with agree, that? I was yeah. just throwing a shot anyway. They they can't like be like just in real? themselves and yeah, they can't be real. They it's always like removed. If you look at any British, yeah. Like, not necessarily like Scottish or Irish, but English stand up. Was it like sure. Chris Rock and LA comedian? The guys like that? No. Is Chris Rock is from New York. Is he? All the best comedians See, are from New York, Boston, Philly. Yeah, true. Just like it's American comedian. I don't know where. Yeah, I have no from, idea. So how how do you so know who an LA comic is? Yeah, I have no I don't idea. Know. Well, I, I guess I just mean b- prior to the move to Austin, the uh, the same ones that you see on the podcast and stuff like that. I I thought maybe people will dislike this, but I thought Rogan good. Uh, uh, Boston. Joey Diaz, good, but yeah, but even yeah, he's from Boston. But still, even them, they're all good. But the ones that I think of in my head as great were all from New York, Boston, Philly, whatever. Yeah. Not even but Toronto. I won't. You know. It's a fucked up place because like everyone there is like there's like proximity to like stardom and proximity to like films and all this like crazy shit. Um, child sacrifices, you know, all the real. F- <laughs> Fucked up shit happens in Hollywood, <laughs> LA. That's not even like realistic satanic torture. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's not even like a controversial thing to say. So it makes sense that he. You don't think be. sucking the youth out of a child's mind's eye is funny? <laughs> it's hilarious. You ever seen it? It's great. But, but like producers and and shit and people like that, they go to the store. The store is very famous. Like it's a yeah, one yeah, of the yeah world yeah. famous comedy store. So they like famous people go great, there all the time. Obviously, so. great comedians at the comedy store. Obviously, I don't know their names. I just like drinking fucking. <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't know their names. <laughs> the guy, the guy that finished it out, the guy that closes it out all the time. I can't remember his fucking name. I just like the ability Stevens. to buy like no, a beer like, from a well, corner store. Gone, you can't do that. Home, yeah. You okay. can't. Zach Galifianakis isn't funny. L.A. Isn't he from New York originally too? Is he? Will Ferrell, L.A. Will Ferrell's not a stand-up comedian. Yeah. And no, also no one he likes was on SNL, so he was also. No one likes there. comedy nerd talk. We should change. Yeah, something. no one I don't know likes what you're it. Talking about, but no I like it. drinking Pacificos in a can. Being able to buy a beer from a fucking corner store that was pretty sick. Oh, in LA, yeah, yeah. That, but that's that's more that that exists in so many places getting except a, for a here. Pint size can. I was like, holy shit, Venice this is Beach fucking is great. Did you go down to Venice? Yeah, Beach? Venice Beach is cool. Like it's just so much scuzzy, going on. Though. 
Yeah, it was. Yeah, but, but that, that's what cool. I like. Like, I, yeah, like, yeah. Where, yeah. Where, where I'm Scuzz. from. Like, I was with you? my wife though. I was like, you know, uh, danger. It's beautiful as well. It's, it's, it's a nice, nice day. Yeah. Like I'd gone down to the skate park, eating a fucking ice cream, yeah. <laughs> watching the boys skate, and then there was like all these like ex homeless uh, drug addicts or whatever. This is like ex homeless. This is like, they, they, they like doing I was with my wife, and he's like, "That's why he was drinking and driving. <laughs> he wanted, <laughs> he wanted to get into a fatal accident." <laughs> <laughs> but not kill her outright. <laughs> Just make it seem like an accident. Like you'll do time, but murder. Yeah, having, worse. A, having a responsibility when you're on a holiday. Having like a, it's like playing a game and you have like an escort mission. You ever play those games? Where you have to like protect like the mm. like a character. That's what it is like walking around a new place with a wife. Yeah. It's just like danger. Like, it I can't is. relax. It it's actually like, is. Have you ever had to defend your wife? Um, <laughs> from you, <laughs> she gets kidnapped, and Lewis goes, Cha Ching. <laughs> That's her name, by the way. <laughs> no, Cha Ching! Stop, bring Cha Ching back! <laughs> I traveled with my wife to Peru, and uh, <laughs> that was our. We were split up two months later, and I've never brought. Uh, Go ahead, is it because the stress test? Against. It's such a stress what? test. Is it because those Incan women were so hot? No, it Ooh. was just that she was so <laughs> cool. They have, they have that head like they have that head like shaped like a mountain. They put like I like a girl with a nose spacer, sexy. <laughs> Do you want to know the real reason? Actually, right. yeah, dude. I like a girl who was born on like a like a Twin Peaks mountain, so they got to put like an extra bit of. There. I like a bitch who smells it. like llama. <laughs> <laughs> I do actually. I do. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. Uh, why? I, why? See, I, I didn't really have enough money to travel anyway, but my yeah. buddy from home was gone, so we just like scrounged up everything I could and went into credit card debt, and I had a way smaller credit card than I do now. So we went down and uh, spent basically everything that we had we, they were going on to Argentina and stuff me yeah, and yeah. my wife had to turn around so we came back and we, she was like oh it's cheaper if we go via the Dominican Republic so we said we'd stay there then for two nights then she once she saw the, the when she started looking into it she was like it's only another $70 to you know get all inclusive or whatever we were like yeah perfect and then she's like it's only another $25 to do a, like a seaside view I was like I don't give a shit just whatever do do whatever yeah, you want yeah, yeah. but we went there and uh, so then we had a great time there and we were like smoking fucking cigars just drinking because it was all you can drink but it was a casino downstairs so I like I was tapped out of basically everything. Like there was only about maybe three hundred dollars left in my account. Mm-hmm. We needed that. Do you know I had zero? Like and I had zero access to money either. Like my credit card was fully maxed, and hers was um, almost. So we went down. I got I got a hundred dollar bill. I was like I'll spend a bit in the casino, uh, or this is all I can spend in the casino. Went in. They gave us a five dollar free chip, and they were like, you have to use that game. So then we were playing that game. They were bringing us over drinks. I was smoking the cigar, thinking I'm a G. So yeah, like, yeah, it was yeah. this scam game. Like, and uh, then you, it looks like you're getting closer and closer. You had to get up to 100 points. And early on, you get like 80 points and an extra five. And it's like, if we get another one of those big ones, we have it. You've won four grand. And then they're like, oh, you hit a seven. Seven means, or whatever the fucking rules were. Seven yeah, yeah, means yeah. you double the stake, double the thing. So instead of winning four grand, you win eight grand. And there's all these side games. Oh, you got an 11. If you get 11, 22, 44. So they have you hooked in to all these so games. number wang. And, I, and I didn't give him any money. Like So uh, I just uh, put the credit card down. Because oh I was like, I, I wasn't going to lose any more the Irish. dollars. So <laughs> I eventually then, because I was his zoned in. Clover. And he had us zoned in. The guy was like Ron fucking White behind the table. Big, huge Texan guy. Just yeah, like yeah. really charismatic. And uh, eventually, my next bet was going to be three hundred. Oh, I followed the rainbow to a pot of gold. All I got was a cock in my mouth. <laughs> we could win sixteen. I followed the rainbow all the way to Church Street, thinking I was going to get some gold coins, but I just got eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the luck of the Irish! He was from a man carrying a rainbow flag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, was that was better. That was, that was better. Uh, okay, so you're now, yeah, you're in it. You're thinking you're about so, to win. So then I was like, think I just snapped back into reality for a minute. I was like, my credit card doesn't even support how much I owe. And then yeah, I, yeah. I said to her quietly, I was like, maybe we should switch switch the credit cards. And then the guy heard us say that, and then he was like. He knew that we were fucking. He was like, "Look, uh, pay what you." I, I'm a, the game's actually closed now. That's what he said. Because I would have kept on going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, "The game's finished now, so you got to pay." Uh, 
pay what you owe now and then you can come back tomorrow and uh, pay the rest. Pay the rest. It's a 24 hour casino. Like he, he yeah, said yeah. it was close because he just wanted to take the money. Right, 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 right. 24 hour casinos are depressing. Like they're oh, fun. They're depressing. But by like three, four in the morning, you see some kid running around. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, like their guardian or whoever took them there. It's filled with smoke. Dude, gambling addiction is depressing. Yeah, I used to work at a. Up. Sorry, I, was, I used to work at a convenience store. These people would come in like fucking robots, and they'd buy these scratch tickets. Yeah. The same time, same day, every week. Right. They're working these minimum wage jobs at Kensington Market, and just buy these scratch tickets. And they'll win like $20, and their eyes will light up. Like, oh my God, I'm a big winner. It's like, yeah, but you spent $4,000 to win 20 Yeah. You fucking dumbass. Wake the fuck up. They're like asleep, I, bro. I went to one for a bachelor party with, uh, with the shark and his brother, and we show up, and we're looking around. We're like, oh, wow, what a great, you know, casino. And uh, Shark's brother goes, I'm going to go find a real man's game. He takes off. Like, dude, 15 minutes later, he comes back. Well, I lost all my money. <laughs> <laughs> He's asking, where'd he go? Like the poker table? He found a hooker outside. Real man's game. Try not to get AIDS. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> again. <laughs> He's like, fuck it, look at the Once Irish. <laughs> Eats again. <laughs> the ultimate roll of the dice, I'm going to come inside a hooker and hope for the best. <laughs> you know, for the person like fucking the hooker, the probability of getting AIDS is actually quite low. It's the receiver who's the... Uh, is that true? Yeah, yeah. The AIDS That's thing. why gay guys get it more than straight guys. Mm. Well, but re- if receivers a, do. Receivers. Receivers. Yeah. Yeah. But if it's a trans hooker, Baxter could still get it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so don't, you know... Don't I'll, assume I'll have you know they're real I, women. I'll yeah, have you no, know. But they, they also have A's. Oh, yeah. They're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know that when I fucked a trans hooker, I didn't have to pay for it because I'm that fucking cool, Darren. Fuck oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I transcended the customer relationship because I'm fucking charming as fuck. Nice. I charmed the hell out of that dude. And you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a conversation after? Um, she was very, she was very fobby, so the conversation was limited. I'll take you away from all of this. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you did not have a conversation because she was trans. You had a com- You didn't have a conversation because you're racist. Yeah. yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, when I was in Vegas, if that's what it takes to be racist. Then I guess I'm racist. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked a Thai lady. She was a Thai lady boy, essentially. Here. I, yeah, I, you can't be racist. I that's fucked fine. two tradies. Two tradies. One was a Thai lady boy, hooker. That I met in the street, and she's like, "Oh, you're so lucky. Usually, yeah. men have to pay top dollar, top dollar." <laughs> <laughs> but again, I was so cool. I was like, What's up, baby? She's like, right. "Oh, you wrote a seven. <laughs> 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 that means no condom. No condom. <laughs> I, I, I used uh, I used the four star. I'm like, I'm gonna suck your dick for free. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the AIDS you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? Um. Going on holiday with, with wives me. sucks because you have to spend more than because you oh, pretty wait. you pretty want it to go with your friends and just kind of slum it. So right? hard to cheat on her, eh? Slum- <laughs> 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 I thought I was with a with a Thai hooker, but it was her. I was like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis gets up, money's on the on the desk. <laughs> it's like, what? Oh, it's a hot trading hooker, just wife and a wife and a strap on. <laughs> <laughs> no, how d- I remember my question. How did your marriage end after that? Because they, but well, like after that, then we switched the thing. We were on the, uh, oh yeah, it just it, because we were just so far. We got home and argued. we were, we were, we argued the whole trip anyway. Mm. And uh, just she wanted to have everything structured. And I, when I travel, I don't know what's next. Like, and that's what I love about it is just the free, sheer freedom of it. Right. And, yeah. uh, you wanted to go fine, like, Anthony Bourdain. You yeah, know? exactly. And that's what I've been Fuck doing. Some since. locals, yeah, but exactly. she yeah. wanted to be all like, "Where are we going on Tuesday?" Yeah. It's like, I don't. What day is it today? Anthony I don't care. Bourdain like, was pretty structured. He's like, "We're gonna eat some tacos, have some martinis, and I'm gonna kill myself." <laughs> 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 that was on his agenda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just it just dragged and dragged. Uh, yeah. I I just kept drinking more. She just kept like yelling at me more, and I I know until she eventually just it's kicked me. Ten as old as time. But I'm, it was gone. Yeah. It was done. Yeah. It was done, and I was drinking because it was done. But I wouldn't end it. I've never ended relationships. Like I've never been able to. They won't. They won't end it. They just love me too much. No matter how much of a creep I'm becoming, and I so I just become a worse and worse person until I my longest until relationship. Yeah. 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 That relationship. And some of them like hold on for dear life, and and ended that one over some bullshit. Yeah, what did, what did it end it, up? I, I think was that c- the one you were living with over on Lakeshore? No, uh, it was one oh. before that, and um, we, it was just such a bad relationship. And fuck it, just one day there was some some of her <laughs> of bullshit it on was. the couch. You're yeah. in it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it was so stupid. It was over some like messy towels or something. And I just went, I'm done. <laughs> like, I just like, I snapped out of it. I'm like, why am I wasting my time with you? I don't even like cheating on you anymore. I just want you. <laughs> this is like, fun. <laughs> <laughs> the girl's like, what? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> you know, I'm done with my girlfriend. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want that someone like, new that was to like cheat poetic. on. Like, yeah. I don't even like cheating on you anymore. <laughs> I'm not yeah. even. Yeah, it, it, cheating not even doesn't even feel bad anymore. No, that's yeah. how much I hate yeah, that's you. That's how much I fucking hate You've this You've taken right the fun of I cheat. Oh, yeah. Wow. I cheat to feel bad. You don't even like you. don't feel bad. Oh. That actually. That's makes so some profound, sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, and Lisa, and she's like, I still love cheating on you, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can work this out. Jamal is awesome. I was like, get the fuck in my house. <laughs> Sorry, you came on your towels, you fucking loser. <laughs> I suspect that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I suspect she cheated on me with somebody named Chase. Chase? Oh, that's worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She once said the name, and I just went, Who's Chase? In sex? No, not in sex. Oh. Like, we were saying something, and then she said the name, and I'm like, Who's that? And her face just dropped. Oh, like, yeah. Like, just yeah, slipped yeah, out. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Oh, you whore. <laughs> 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 like, <"Yeah>, whatever. <laughs> so, so you didn't care? No. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, like, look for a chase? No. How long were you guys, like, openly cheating on each other and still staying together? Um,. I, like the chase thing, I'm, I'm pretty sure of. But fucking eight nine years we were together. No, no, no. no but he no, said out of those eight nine years, how much of it were you eight, cheating? Nine years? <laughs> <laughs> well, was it a whole did time? You, did you find out about it uh, uh, with each other or whatever? No, she uh, she always suspected like me or whatever with certain people. Like there was one time when I was living in a house with with these girls, and it was brutal, man. I, I remember like once I, I messed around with one of them. And my ex at the time came over and she got drunk and we're in the kitchen and she's like hugging me doing this drunk shit. And over her shoulder, I see the girl that I was messing with just look at me like you ever get that sexy look. The girl gives you like, yeah, she's yeah, like yeah. I'm gonna fuck you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, you bitches are so evil. Like they, oh, yeah. when women cheat, it's. Pure oh, evil. Man, when guys they, cheat, they, they love the fucking guy in a relationship. Hey, they love it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, if you're walking down the street with your girl, you're holding her hand, like, yeah. the, you, the amount of looks you'll get are, like, yes. way higher. Yes. When they yes. actually end the relationship, they've ended it ages before. Oh, they already, have, they already have three prospects in their following yeah, yeah, yeah. on Instagram or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Not every, not everyone. Like, no, basically. Not all They're women. But, but like, they, <laughs> there was a, I was walking home the other day, and, and one of the girls, uh, oh, Jesus. Well, somebody, one of my friends said uh, to the girl, look, I, I don't mean to say this, but, like, I hate this other girl. And uh, she said, she was her roommate. Yeah. And she was like, you know, I got to tell you something. Uh, recently, I was seeing a guy and I told her, like, I said to this girl, please don't do anything with this guy. I actually really like him. I've been see I've seen him like five times now and I really have a connection with him. Yeah. And then she didn't text back. That's and then that now I'm gonna other connect girl, his dick in my mouth. <laughs> she, she fucked him that night. Yeah, no shit. Darren, That's as soon as you put like a restriction uh, on somebody, yeah, they yeah. have to do it now. Yeah. For yeah. It. They have to do it now. Yeah. I won't say anything. You names, cannot fuck gay fair. guys. No <laughs> fucking gay guys. No. no. There was a girl, I won't say her name, but yeah. she was told, she's like, don't fuck Matt Baxter, Lee Fernandez, <laughs> or uh, what was the third one? Rob? Rob. Uh, and she literally fucked all three of us. <laughs> 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 Sorry, what's we'll, we'll her name? We're trying, yeah, to be yeah. new, trying to be a Christian. What's we'll her name? Yeah, yeah. Old me would have said her name. You can yeah. just baptize yeah. this, this Sunday. On Sunday, yeah. yeah Does say. she have a Greek name? <laughs> Shut up, Sam. You gave, <laughs> you, you gave, it was like a riddle. You gave, but it was like, you got, you almost gave, you gave the answer, but. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's sadder. It's like a math, a math quiz. <laughs> yeah. If, if, if you did do this, but didn't do this, then who is it? Guess who? I I uh, I've been watching. She was the goddess of fucking the crew. <laughs> 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 she was the goddess of for the squad. Or whatever whatever like, kids say. <laughs> I, I walked up to another guy that she had slept with, yeah. and he found yeah. out that I slept with her, and, and he just goes, "Welcome to the club." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, a, it's like an guy. AA meeting. Hi, I'm Matt. I fucked that <laughs> stupid whore. Um, Hello, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Do you guys want to compare sores or? <laughs> <laughs> We're all just there scratching our dicks. <laughs> 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 
Uh, yeah, I, I watch his channel a lot now. It's called uh, Soft White Underbelly on YouTube. Oh, I've heard of this. You go, yeah, it's great. There's, I saw one about these. There's a hillbilly family. That's his, and they're all incest. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they all fucked each other, and they're all like super retarded. Yeah, of you're it. making it sound hot, but they're they're not really good looking. Yeah, it's not yeah, like yeah. Game of Thrones. Yeah, it's like so good, it made you retarded. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, mostly now he interviews a lot of... Uh, my uh, name's Walt, and this is my dragon. I'm Walt Targaryen. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon's a fucking shitty dog. <laughs> With one eye. <laughs> it's losing its hair. Walt, this is my dragon. Oh. <laughs> but mostly what he does now is uh, filmed interviews with any type of uh, criminal, sex worker, drug addict, anything. Like, And has a very honest one hour long interview, right? We should do that for this podcast. Yeah, I want to yeah. do that do so what? bad. Do uh, it's bring guests like that on. Bring guests, yeah. What, drug, drug addicts, addicts. Every episode. stripper. <laughs> and hookers. <laughs> He's like, what? Two, there three, are that's four. <laughs> Tr- foods are foods are drug. <laughs> <laughs> you have five, five drug addicts on here right now. <laughs> but... He, uh, I was watching one interview. He interviews a lot of like strippers, <laughs> prostitutes, <a> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> when Lewis dies, we're like, oh no, what happened to him? The yellow fever. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> he, he, di- he died from bird, <laughs> true, <man>. swine, <laughs> flu, <laughs> COVID, <laughs> SARS. All at once. <laughs> toy. Matt Baxter can never tell a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, this guy talked to a male stripper and he talked about how dirty women are with like you think we're like we're different like men cheat so much and stuff. He talked about the amount of like actually Dante Nero, the comedian, he used to be a, a stripper too. Oh, and he talked man. about like like he fucked he told a story once where he said he fucked a girl who was like the bachelorette and her mother-in-law at the same night and they both knew it. That's hot. Yeah, he's like a pickup artist. Like he did that beige Phillips show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah. talks about how to manipulate women into the into the sack. Not manipulate. They, he, he was, was more of a, this guy's buddy. Not manipulate. But he's do, he's more of a relationship. He was some charming guy. pimp shit though. Yeah, but his stuff was like because he was related to Patrice. It was it was more um, about being happy in whatever relationship. If you're just dating, then uh, pick. Really? How do you pick him up? It was monogamous. No, it's not about monogamy. It's just about being happy in your relationship, even if it's you're just casually dating, yeah. not letting women control you and bring you down. It's more about that than uh, how do you pick up women. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, just all that, that male stripper talk, I found out like... You, th- you think women are different, but if you watch enough court TV, if you watch enough soft white underbelly and stuff, like these women are scandalous. They're all sl- they're all cheating on us. Oh, all of them. They're all evil, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're evil too, but we just, everyone knows about our evil and their evil is more underground. I once male escorted myself. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah. To a woman or a man? Uh, a woman. Technically. She paid you what? Weed. <laughs> I worked with this girl who sold weed. How much weed? It was twenty bucks worth. <laughs> <laughs> That's much? how much you're worth. Yeah, <laughs> you have a twenty dollar dick. But back then, back then, I was like, fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did you have to do to her? Just fuck. Uh, was she nice looking, or was it? She was a pretty sexy looking. Okay, like, Indian yeah. that doesn't yeah. count. Yeah, yeah. Then no, but this is what she I was mean. sexy, but she was paying you in weed to fuck her. Well, because I think she liked me. But like, I, I grabbed weed from her from work, mm. and one day I was just like, I didn't have money, but I wanted weed. I'm like texting with her i'm like oh we get paid friday but you know if you give me the weed now i could pay you in sex like as a joke but then she i forget her response oh. on the phone uh, and then yeah, she said something along the lines of okay and then okay. we ran into we at work we kind of like drove in at the same time so we're walking to the de- to our our office area i got a great i got a great movie freely yeah the gringo gigolo, <laughs> the gringo gigolo. oh no gringos are white guys Fuck. yeah i'm an idiot Cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, a, I remember what's like a funny happened? Mexican slur we could add to Jingle. I remember it happened. Did rhymes with Jingle? And then she left. She left me some weed and left. I was like, this is the greatest day of my life. Like I was probably That's like, fucking sick. like fucking twenty three. <laughs> still thinking. Yeah. About it. <laughs> what's wrong, saying? I'm trying to think of something that rhymes or goes with Jingle, but <laughs> is a slur for your people. Mm. Baxter, you're what? so good at this usually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Come on, Baxter, be racist. It's your yeah. thing. <laughs> Come on. You're at bat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think your thing counts though. No? That just sounded like Aaron, like Aaron, flirting Aaron and Brooke just... spick. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. Okay, it's that's a placeholder. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> that, that, that made me it. happy enough. There's, yeah. there's no bad ideas of brainstorming. We can move on. <laughs> Yeah, but yours doesn't. I don't. I don't think that counts. Like, like, am I supposed to be sad and like? 
really addicted to a hard drug. I, the, if you watch the soft, if you watch <laughs> soft <laughs> boy underbelly, yeah, like, you are supposed does, to be when sad. When did it start to count? Yeah, was it gonna be serious all the time? That's a cool story. Yeah, I have to be in basketball diaries, getting my dick sucked <laughs> by the, in a stall by some fucking old man <laughs> for it to count. Do you think it's possible? I was a hooker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! hey the, the, you were a puto. I got one, I got one, I got one. <laughs> Is this good? The deported escort. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not good. <laughs> I, like, I, liked, I liked Aaron Brock. the drawing you board. Know. <laughs> you gotta give like famous famous hookers. Yeah. There's gotta be a lot of like, you know, like a cultural reference for like a famous. The only one I can think of is like Ed Superhead. Gore, Lady of the Night, Superhead. Um, but yeah, do you think it's possible to be. Because I watch a lot of these videos and a lot of them are super sad. Uh, do you think it's possible to be a prostitute? Like, let's say they legalized it and it was very, you know. Transactional, just like the way we did with legalized weed. what? Legalized prostitution. Do you right. think you can do it and not be sad at some point? I think you have to be in your late forties to be a hooker and not be sad. Like yeah. start in your forties. You know yeah. that Adrian, Adrian I, I think the girl. Yeah, sad it is. But she it, says that like no matter. You don't what, know any better though. When you're younger, you might know any better. But when you're older, you do know better, and you still want to do it, and you're just like probably happy that all these dudes like want to fuck you for some reason. So I mm. think uh, older hookers. Are probably easier, uh, like enjoy it more than younger ones. Because yeah, like you said, they don't know what the fuck they're doing usually when they're young. But it's, at some point, it kind of tune, like they key into it and they start to hate themselves. But uh, so I go like, if you're gonna be a whore, just wait till you know you're lonely and plus forty. Yeah, and then and but then, then it's not gonna be as lucrative. It can uh, be. I think <laughs> it will be. I saw no. a video. Some guy like has a, a seventy. Would be for me. Dude, no, it would be. I saw some video oh, online what? recently where there's like. Uh, a guy he has like a, a camera on his door, yeah. And his next door neighbor is some really rancid looking older woman, yeah. And then she turns out to be a, a hooker because the camera just like it's guys after guy after oh, guy after guy going yeah. to her place. And I was laughing so hard when the last guy showed up, <laughs> and I remember all the other dudes previously. Uh, <laughs> like, if, sir, if you knew, <laughs> if you saw this tape, <laughs> the, the caboose would you still up? knock on her door? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, my buddy went yeah, to... break us from the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> my, my buddy went to a brothel in uh, Spain or wherever it was uh, with his buddies. They went and uh, they were all like lining up. There was like five doors, five different hookers in them. And uh, but one, about one of them, but one of them, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. I love this game. <laughs> it's so risky. It's a game well, for men. <laughs> well, what, what, one of them was black, and uh, the, so he. One Maybe of the, the hookers are playing a game. One of the lads lined what up. What kind of sick joke is this? <laughs> there was free, like there was free doors, but uh, he lined up behind three people for the to wait for the black one. Oh wow! Oh, wow! <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> He knows what he likes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I've I've been to strip clubs before. Well, Irish, like, like you know, it's like so it has to be something different. Like. <laughs> but that's like that lady we it's mentioned like I earlier. Sorry to cover the taste. I was in it. line technically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Baxter. Yeah, you were yeah. towards the caboose. I was too. the guy at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were you were late. In I got game. all their diseases. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You you mushed your dick into their cum. Yes, <laughs> it was still there for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because it was ten minutes. You loser. <laughs> you were gonna say something about Adriana Chechik, I guess, about leaving porn. Oh, she was just saying basically that like it has a no matter what, uh, sex work has like an effect on a person's soul. Like there's no way around it. Oh really? Yeah. I don't. I, you know who I'd like to interview is that you know that Nina Hartley girl. I say girl, but she's like an old woman now. Yeah. But she stayed in porn until like yeah. well into her 50s, 60s or whatever. Right. But I've heard that before. Like if you watch that Soft White Underbelly show, like even the ones who act like, hey, I'm getting my money, like I'm so happy, whatever. There's always a moment in that hour where you see the sadness. Yeah. So I'm, but it just doesn't in my head. It doesn't. Mean, why? Why does it have to be? You know. But it's the same after after you like after you jerk off that like post not reality that uh, you get that like, little feeling. But some people are like they'll do it fucking five times a day. Like whatever, I love it. But sometimes when you just you, you don't know if you bang someone that you really really didn't like or was yeah, yeah. like hitting you or fucking probably feel extremely degraded for a minute then you start snap out of it and you're like fuck it this is what i do and then on to the next one you know some people can just wipe it off but it doesn't mean that they don't feel those feelings yeah yeah, yeah. but is it is it possible is there anyone who can just enjoy it like you make the money and you like well they're sociopaths sex. like they, if they're sociopaths uh, then they're, prob they're probably good like there's they're some probably people, fine like if they're like proper on the autistic spectrum do you know a lot of people are on the spectrum that 
didn't even know they were. <laughs> so like they don't have feelings. Oh, some people can't. They love uh, trains and trains. <laughs> 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 oh my god that was that, perfect well it just makes me so sad now because and I'm like puzzles oh. like who's the dad <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man <laughs> that, just, that insinuation makes me so sad because I'm like oh so if they legalize prostitution we have to only fuck autistic women <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, it's so sad. She doesn't care. Because they're, like, super direct. They yeah, just, yeah, yeah. They just say what they feel. I don't know. I feel like there's a way to mentally get into it and just not... Like, if they legalize prostitution, there has to be a way so it's not, like... Like, what if you work at the Walmart of prostitution if they legalize it one day? Like, you just get over it? Like Yeah, but, like, they would be working at Walmart anyway. And they would, they do, like, an eight-hour shift there, and they think, eh, well, I'd rather just, like take a train instead <laughs> yeah 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 they're like ah so i work an hour a day they're just lazy <laughs> <laughs> you think prostitutes are lazy yeah, people? Kind, yeah, they yeah are. Lazy. you know what why not just find one rich guy and marry him if you're like a super hot chick you're 18 you're kind of well, that's the that's the aaron brockers pick uh, yeah. Approach. <laughs> yeah that's what that's, that's what lee's around. hoping for that's always the dream that's always like you know that, but i don't even I'm think that, that, that would even I'll be that hard to away. do though if you're Dude, I'm like assuming a, if you're a hooker by your ninth customer you're just like man i'll just do customer service i was going to hr um i think it's harder i think it's harder than you think though because i Almost a, a lot of girls I know uh, have told me recently that they they did the whole sugar baby thing. But it's also for like a little it's bit. also like girl power. Like I'm an entrepreneur. I got my own mm. money. I don't need a man. That is you. one thing that some of them say, but yeah, the, not yeah. those ones. I don't the need other a man ones, unless he's gonna show up to. But fuck if me. It, if it is made legal properly, <laughs> I don't need a man. it I need should 18 be eighteen of them. To yeah, come exactly. should be cocky on me. Yeah, <laughs> if prostitution is like a real job, then it should be like a real job. You should have to start off at minimum wage. And yeah. then work your way. <laughs> yeah, you know if the you problem <laughs> is is that value wise it doesn't work like that. No, but no, it, but it does because the people working at Walmart want to have cheap pussy as well, but they can't get prostitutes. The people that already have money, they are the only ones that can get prostitutes. The fucking Walmart guy has to save up for two weeks just to get a fucking blowjob. No, but they don't. What, but they, what they do is, and I know this from my old boss. Uh, like this, for example, like. Um, so there's like a house of like Pakistani guys, twelve of them. Okay, they yeah. will all pitch in for one hooker, right? Yeah, but, and share it. But I'm trying to huh, create sorry. a situation. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. And I'm like, oh, oh, it. oh but, at the, but at that level, like, we're getting a worse direction. <laughs> we're in a free I'm saying market. it shouldn't be like that. I'm saying yeah. they should like Abdul and and pa- all the boys should. Who <laughs> wants libertarian? They should have their own. <laughs> no, I don't. I think it's all, all free disgusting. Yeah. But I'm saying like, there's whoa, no, whoa, there's no that's way like, to like control like, how much you pay for something. <laughs> but like. But but we they control what the minimum wage is. So if it's like a proper job and incorporated yeah. job, you have to sign up. No, to but be a here's here's my problem with that. Is, but if we're t- <laughs> but if you're a hooker and you get a phone call, I'm calling about your ads. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? And, there's, and also there should Hang be up. a draft. There should be a draft. We need we need an extra thirty thousand <laughs> prostitutes <laughs> next year. If you were born on uh, the sixth of January, then you're, you're signed up. <laughs> yeah, the problem with that is starting out minimum wage is. The the this is true for strippers too. Is your highest value is at a certain age, and then it goes down. So I think I'm okay with if they started at a low wage, but when you're hitting like your 23, 24, that's highest value prostitute stripper ages. But if they get and good then quick, like do you know the numbers? It's a numbers oh. game. Your first client needs to be that. But sure, if you want to do fucking two hundred a week, then fucking get then you, working, babe. You got it. Yeah, One of my then, exes was a cam girl, and she was making good money. And I remember once go, when I went to go visit her, and she was just like, ex- she seemed exhausted. And she was talking about that one of her whales, as they call it. Yeah. Like when you catch a guy who pays a lot pays, of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, They're having a dinner date online. <laughs> and That's cute. And he was just like unloading his whole stress on her. <laughs> the, yeah. And she was just like, I had to hear this fucking asshole for so long. Oh, and oh. I'm like, and she's still in her outfit. <laughs> <laughs> she's telling me the story. So I'm like, funny. you're literally in lingerie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Complaining about she's like, do you want to see my pussy? No, I want to take my problems. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, like, this is why it. I dropped out of college, so I didn't have to be a therapist. <laughs> exactly. She was annoyed by it. I'm like, you're making money just <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, because it isn't just the sex. It's like a whole other. That's probably the most the easiest part of the job. You got to deal with a whole like 
therapy part of it like yeah. a whole like so that's yeah. that's one aspect i don't like i was listening to a few of them like at work today uh with the interviews again and then the problem is they don't like wait where do you work your, your hr for like a brothel or what <laughs> no no like, yeah i'm doing research <laughs> <laughs> no i just you know instead of listening to a podcast like i usually oh, I do i was listening to the interviews right and a lot of them just dislike the Johns completely. And I don't mean like, I know the joke was always like, oh, how can you go to a stripper? Or, she doesn't actually like you. I don't care if they're like neutral to me, but they they hate the Johns, most of them. And that's why, that's a Yeah, but even, like, even if you work at a restaurant, the waitresses are all in the dish pit talking shit about the people they're serving. You're just like, only the it's cunts how you stuff. blow off steam at work. Like, yeah. Only the yeah. cunts though. But I guess if you are a, like a regular <laughs> John, you probably can't, uh, you probably aren't not that nice yeah, to yeah, women. Yeah. Yeah. If you the reason nice women, why you probably have, you know, you'd have a yeah, woman yeah. that you would like. Yeah, that's true. I've seen a couple yeah. interviews where they were like, "No, I don't." You know, some of the guys are pieces of in, shit. In and Thailand, some of them like it's there's a lot of prostitution. Yeah, like right, all yeah. bars have their bar girls and all that, but they do the whole fucking proper girlfriend experience. I yeah, didn't yeah, do yeah. it because it was expensive. Like it was not expensive, but I, when I'm traveling <laughs> like a proper budget, but they like guys will they'll get two sometimes. Do you know, yeah, rich yeah, yeah, older yeah. guys, and then they're. They're all about them, and they love to do it. Like they're having fun. They're fucking playing yeah, pool, yeah, yeah. playing games, and it's the proper girlfriend experience for however long you want. They're like I'll, I'll take her for two days. And they're like, yeah, here, off you go. Yeah, no, I, I get it. I used to listen to. Uh Speaking of this guy again, when Patrice and Nor- Jim Norton oh, and all those guys Brazil. would go down to Brazil, yeah. I remember I was at that like right age where I'm like, that sounds fucking amazing, like so awesome. I never went to Brazil, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I used to think of that like. He buys like a washing machine. Patrice did. Did he to like? Yeah, wa- yeah. To because they're so like. The, oh, it, oh, he, he buys was, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he yeah, was yeah, saying yeah, it's yeah. such a different culture in the way they treat that he was just fine yeah, with yeah, buying yeah. a washing machine because it's. Like, yeah. <laughs> was, was a lot of Patrice's like uh, his uh, the legend around him that he's like this fucking smooth talking criminal pimp guy. Was that a lot of that bullshit? No. Like, um, why is he taking flights down to Brazil to fuck girls if he's... So, you know what's funny? He's got such is, good game. Is Dante, is he his... He said that. Yeah, but... But no, he was just... He it's was always just, better just to fucking use your... Use your... Yeah, but he had... Use he your had, wit to seduce a woman. Yeah, but he also did that. So, it's a... It's a he yeah. was just... He was just a pervert. Like he was right. just the he wanted he wanted it all he was like he was like a, a sex, holiday he was like know? a sex yeah. addict <laughs> <laughs> that's why you're avoiding saying what you did in L A <laughs> yeah Patrice didn't drink or no do but drugs. he wants to take a holiday no. from a like guys were just food and pussy for yeah. him yeah, yeah it's yeah. different as well like it's not you go down to yeah. Brazil it's Brazilian women like it's not they're, they're different to uh, American women like yeah, yeah you go abroad to like you know do different stuff so yeah. when in Rome. Mm. Mm. It's one of those. Hey, can I um, read you guys a fight that is happening on the Instagram page? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lee was. Um, we we'll give a little background. Um, we posted a, a yeah. clip with uh, Daniel Boardman, like, talking a lot. And it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just <laughs> That's how we should have posted it. Yeah. Daniel Boardman talking too much. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just like. it's The clips overlap each other because just yeah. to show, like, this guy won't shut the fuck up about this shit, <laughs> which is <was> great. <laughs> so it's just to, like, Thank make for fun being of that on. whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, somebody online uh, commented because uh, I uh, hashtag like all this Palestine and Israel shit. He goes, one guy Maxim underscore Sully goes, guy is clearly anti-Semitic and a Zionist, pure propaganda. And another guy chimes in, Yohanan Fraj goes, at that dude, go get educated, my guy. And then the other guy responds. Typical Zionist mentality. Stop being a demon. <laughs> and then the guy responds, I'm Arab, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other guy responds, You gotta do it in an accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> obviously. Keys. <laughs> you gotta do keys. He goes, Obviously, nobody cares. Haven't you noticed? And then the final response is an Israeli flag. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm excited about this because, like, great move to like put those hashtags yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the specific play hashtags. both sides, <laughs> stir up some <laughs> hatred between the two. The specific um, that's what you're supposed to. The hashtags very are small, yeah, education, very small. Jew. Muslim, Palestine, <laughs> Israel, That's our shadow, hashtags. mayor, comedy, podcast. Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Arab Jew, Arab Israel war, war Arab world. comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag ha ha. 
Is it Arab World one hashtag or is it Arab? Oh, and Arab world? and World. I, I figure <laughs> Arab, Arab World. Arab World. Arab world. Arab world. world. Yeah, Arab and World. world. <laughs> <laughs> I figure we get more views on this. Arab world. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it'll do fine. So shout outs to uh, Johanan Fraj and Maxim underscore Sully. Yeah, great engagement. And follow the podcast. Don't just comment on it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I guess. I'm going to tag them. But also, if also they heard that, they're <laughs> yeah. also go deeper Listening. into the into the arguments. Like, don't just stop don't after just five stop. comments. Like, this guy's fucking... Mm-hmm. This guy's fucking questioning your manhood. Yeah. You need to fucking dive deep. Seventeen comments, thirty-four comments. Get in, get in. Fucking go into his page. Yeah, my guy. And find all the shit. Find all the yeah. bad shit about him. Go on to <laughs> all his personal fucking uh, facial features. Everything. Like yeah. dive in and fucking works. disgrace these people. Fuck his wife. He yeah. he had the gall <laughs> to call you out online. So just fucking annihilate him in the comments and get make sure make there be like thousands of comments on this. Call out people that aren't on it. Fucking. Tag other people that are on and say, "Look at this bitch," and uh, yeah, get the engagement going. Let's yeah, fucking pussy. go. I want nine million comments on our next clip. <laughs> yeah. Six million. Six million. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of Jews that died in the Holocaust. Yes. Sorry, I'm for just, every I was, Jew that I was just died in the Holocaust. It was nine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I want to recount. <laughs> it probably wasn't anywhere near six million as well. Yeah. <laughs> These fucking conspiracy theories, they say that 9,000, it pisses me off. I'm like, no, it's fucking nine million, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're defending. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You, good? you got to go to your... Lee, Lee's on at the corner. Oh, um, yes. Lee, how'd you get a corner spot? Uh, I did their... <laughs> he told somebody else's jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, uh, did the club owner relapse? Or <laughs> <laughs> it was my lucky day. I don't know. Um, What'd you do? What'd it you was, no, it was do? the last Tuesday of the month show where they people sign up and oh, whoever. it's the open mic. Yeah, no, but like no, 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 no not he this. The people who the did uh, no, he got passed. Yeah, so people who did well on it. Oh, nice. Get yeah. passed. So Fuck we'll yeah. see. Yeah, passed the first round. Nice. Yeah, I'm first with round. you actually, just to be near the. I did one. Yeah, of, yeah, I did one of those. I like, fucking bombed one of those auditions. I, I bombed. I murdered Jer- Jared my Nathan one, was but the I went host. to India the next yeah. week. So I yeah. they got, yeah. they gave me one spot, but I went to India. Then after that, and I yeah. had not followed up. But I need to go back. Uh, I fucking love the corner. Yeah, corner. yeah, yeah corner is a great place. Yeah. Um, so let's let's uh, all support Lee and uh, yeah. his endeavors. Um, that's actually the podcast. We're at uh, fifty whatever something minutes. Oh, I know you want it's perfect. What? Yeah, yeah, because you want to go, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I gotta get this that. is an awkward and ending to this. Also, come see him on the twenty-first. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Three yeah, yeah, yeah. times cafe, uh, nine p.m. doors. These people are sick. November twenty-first, three times cafe. Fuck yeah! I got I'm four people coming to that. I got co-workers, so I'm getting baptized Sunday in Aurelia. Yeah. Oh yeah. Reach, oh yeah. Reach yo. Are you? Are you, do you want me? Do you want me to come? Because yeah, you didn't. This comes out on Monday, you, the day you after. Come? I do want to come. Yeah. 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 How, how you gonna record there? the drive? Baptism. You can drive. Drive drunk. <laughs> yeah, he drove drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I let my wife drive, so it would be equally as dangerous. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the dice. Right, I'll send you the information. If you want to come? Yeah, I do want to come. Yeah. Okay. You should make an event right. Yeah. Yeah. Sell tickets to your baptism. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of wine and bread. <laughs> Where is it? Aurelia? Aurelia, yeah. Interesting. Okay, I'll be there. Do they do the thing like in marriage? Like if anybody has a reason why this shouldn't happen? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, stop! He's gay! He's gay! <laughs> <laughs> that water will burn him alive! <laughs> Don't kill him! <laughs> I'm like, why did I bring my wife to this? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. All right. Thanks, guys, for being on the podcast. Yeah, thanks. Cheers. <laughs> That's-